Oh, I was born in uh, Knoxville, Tennessee, 3-14-23. Growing up during, uh, during Depression, the thing about it was everybody was poor, so you didn't really think you were poor. My father was a shoemaker. My mother uh, just stayed at home and worked in the house. She didn't have a job. Lots of times people would come in and say they couldn't afford to him to fix their shoes, but he said that it's all right. You just don't take the cardboard out and I'll fix it for you. Pay me if you can, whenever you can, or not at all. My mother was sick, had brown girl asthma, so it, uh, right after Christmas we had to go south and stay there until springtime because of her health. And in order to get there, we had to have a car. We had a car, but we had to get special permission to have our retreads. We didn't have real, I mean, brand new ones. They were retreads, they were called. So we had to have a special a, a note saying that was fine, that we could go. I worked at Scripture Press and he came in and wanted a job. So he got a job at Scripture Press. Pretty soon he uh, decided he wanted to take me out to lunch. The very first time I felt God telling me what to do. Bud came along again and he said he was going to go maybe under a mission uh, that he was going to do translation work. He was going to go to Africa. The more I went with Bud, I realized that I, we were in love and we'll go to Africa, so that, that's where the Lord wants him. Mission that we went out under were mostly made up of ex-GIs from the war, and they saw the terrible need in Japan uh, for missionaries because these people have lost everything. The emperor had to go over the TV and say that he was not God, and that just threw them into chaos because he, you know, he was a very, very important man. Yokohama was flat, Tokyo was flat, people living in caves, and they'd lost everything. And when I had four children, wherever we went, they were in awe of the color of our hair, the color of our face, and the fact that we had so many, four of them. And so now, when we came back, Bud was doing the sushi. They passed it on to our one son, and he did it for a couple of years. And then pretty soon, you know, it, it just got better and better. <laughs> my next door neighbor said, I want you to make a wreath. I made my first wreath, took it down to her little store that she had opened up and before lunch it was sold and she said you know i think you should go to these craft shows because i think your things would sell and something clicked in my head and i said oh i think you could do this bud why don't you do this and we will try out and it just got bigger and bigger and bigger and i think we were there about eight years or more. So then he got interested in, in making baskets and then after that he started with gourds, hand-painted gourds. Uh, uh, but you had a bad back and he couldn't handle all the equipment that we had to have for each show. So we had to quit. I realized that we had to do something because my husband got, became very ill. There was no second choice. We had to we had to move. Most of these women have lost their husbands, and so when I lost my husband, they said, we know how you feel, and they're, they're very comforting. I think that's all. That Thank it? <laughs> Good job. I, yeah, behave yourself. <laughs>